So having seen our nice big nasty formula for calculating the price of a call option, what do we do if we want the price of a put option? Do we have a similarly nasty equation? Well, what generally happens actually is that people just use the Black-Scholes pricing formula to calculate the price of a call. And then if you want the price of a put with the same exercise price, you use what we call the put-call parity theorem. So we'll go into that now. The idea behind the put-call parity theorem is that you can use options to actually replicate the payoff of a share or the underlying asset. It doesn't have to be a share. So if you can do that, then according to the no arbitrage pricing principle, if we can get the exact same payoff from both a share or asset and from options on that asset, then the prices of both must be the same. The price of the share and the price of the option strategy have to be equal. If they're not, then there's a massive arbitrage opportunity because whichever is the cheaper option to get the exact same payoff, you just buy that as much as you possibly can and just sell the alternative and you make risk-free profit. So how could we replicate the payoff of a financial asset using options on the asset. 